Hi, it's Lucy here and today I'm going to be playing with these washi tapes. They come from Easy Craft Art. They generously sent these to me to play with and they're absolutely gorgeous. They have a gold shimmer as well as this beautiful teal colour. They do have a range of different washi tapes as well and I'll have the link to them in the description below. Now to get started on the first card and I'm just trying to decide I want to have them overlapping I want to have them a little bit uh, ski whiff but I've decided to have them all going straight but having them be torn some of them and overlapping each other it just gives a really really good look um, because you can see the other tapes underneath so I just love using washi tape and I do have another video that I did a little while ago and I will link that at the end of this video so that if you want to see more ideas and I'm really hoping that you do want to see more ideas because I'm brooming with them at the moment I'd love to create some more washi tape cards too so let me know in the comments if you want more or if you've got washi tape and you want to start using it up um, because yeah it's such a fun thing to use and I love that it's movable so if you put it down and you decide you don't like it you can just pick it back up again and pop it somewhere else on the page. Once I finish with all the washi tape I will use my dies which are from uniquely creative and i'll have a link to them below and also i'm using my sizzix big shot switch plus um i got this at christmas time and i absolutely love it and if you're interested i'll have a link below and most of the links in my descriptions now will have an affiliate link which means that if you decide to purchase any of the items it won't cost you any more but I will receive a small commission which will help my YouTube channel to continue growing and keep creating these videos so um, please use those if you're interested in the products that I use if I've linked them in a description below. So I'm using the tape now to do the border as well so I'm doing that directly onto the card front so I'm just going to go around it and then cut off any of the pieces that are overhanging and then this will just create the border for the gold and washi taped center and then while I'm die cutting the sentiment I'll just let you know that with Easy Craft Art, I'll have their link below. And that's where I got the washi tape from and a few other products that I'll be showing as well in the next month or two. And they're kindly giving my viewers 12% off their order. Um, their prices are already great value, so this just makes it even more amazing. So click on their store link in the description. Um, they're an international company and they have free shipping orders over us $49.90 so that's really good value as well i'm not sure that whether that's international shipping but um, if you're in the us pretty sure <laughs> so while i was chatting i used uh, the uniquely creative uh, glue pen and now i'm using some of their gold pearls as well I'm on their design team so I do use a lot of their products and of course the link will be below as well. So then this card is done and I think it turned out really lovely. I hope you like it as well. Um, I hope this has given you a new idea again and I have one more card to create today in this video. Um, but as I said I have so many more ideas so if you do like it please let me know what you'd like to see me create also between any sort of videos at all um, I'd love to know do you like the masculine card designs or Christmas using washi tape and different products die cutting um, I'd really love to know like you know what you hope that you'll see getting created 
Yeah, so all I'm doing here is I'm adding the washi tapes in a line all the way down, butting them up against each other. And I'm not taking them off, I'm not tearing them off yet because it's easier to know which one's been used and which one hasn't if I keep them on the sides like this. And then I can see easier which one to go back to next if I want to keep a pattern or whether I, it doesn't really matter. You don't always have to do each one exact. Nobody will notice if they're out of order and it's not a complete pattern. So now I'm just going to die cut this rectangle again as well. So I'll tear off the washi tapes now that I'm done with it and I'll um, use my die cutting machine again. I haven't cut any of the overhanging parts because of course once you die cut it um, they're all left behind anyway. So then I realized that I accidentally used the scalloped die instead of the rectangle die and so it was going to be the same size as my white scalloped border. So I was going to put it through the die cutting machine again but I decided that it's easier just to quickly chop off each side just the scallops and then that way I would be left with um, the rectangle and I could add it to this white card and so now I'm just going to cover the whole card in gold paper and this is a very muted gold paper and I can't remember where I got it from because it was a long time ago but I've just added it straight to the card and then cut around it. I find this a really easy way even though I do have a die that cuts out the same size as the card fronts so quite often I'll use that as well but for this one I just decided to do it that way. Sometimes it's easier on camera but I do find that that electronic die cutting machine is a lot easier to move than my old ones. So I've just added it again. It's a fairly similar design so far to the other one. And these sentiments and this die is made for these type of sentiments and so that it cuts them all out at the same time so you don't have to do each one individually. It's great. It has the little arrows on the top left and bottom right to really help with that. So now I'm just going to add a sentiment and with this one it was one that I'd made a while ago actually and had in my sentiment drawer so I decided to use it. Just added it to another piece to make it a bit thicker. You'll notice in the end photos as well I ended up putting the gold piece back in between the T and the H. I just thought that it seemed to be a big gap and it just seemed like it needed a little bit of the gold. So you'll notice I do change things up a lot and this time I've decided that I don't like that much gold around it. It just seemed to make the card a little bit more boring. So I've decided to chop up the card and I'm just cutting out so that there's a smaller border of the gold around it and I'll still be able to use um, the back sheet of that last card and I will use it shortly anyway so I'll use it as scraps. So I'm just going to add this onto a white card front and I think that just looks much nicer, much fresher. Let me know which you prefer if you preferred the full gold card. So now I'm going to use that doily which I've glued down and I feel like the birthday needs a little bit of added height on the other side where it doesn't have the doily. So I'm going to use the scraps from the card that I was using earlier and I've just added half of that onto the back of the birthday sentiment and now I'm just going to include that little happy as well that I cut off from the sentiment strips and I'll add some more of the pearls and then this card is also done. So I hope you've enjoyed watching these and seeing what you can do with some of your washi tape or if you'd like to buy some more. Um, don't forget I've got all the links down below 
and please subscribe and like this video if you've enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in the next one soon. Don't forget to tell me what you'd like to see me create next. Thanks. Bye.